Hello and welcome to Let's Talk with Jermaine Saul, where I bring you insightful information and inspiration about life and business. And today we are going all the way to governance. And governance concerns every single person in our world today. Today I have a very special guest joining me, but before that, I'd like to encourage you to follow me on all my social media handles at Jermaine Sonwolu um, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more engaging and insightful content. And right now, I would like to bring on board someone that is very, very special, someone that is very insightful to um, guide the state when it comes to taxation and revenue. I'm speaking of no other than the special advisor to the governor of Lagos State on taxation and revenue, Taokwe Yemi Ogumbo. Hello, SA. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, my brother. How are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Um, it's good Great. to have you on this um, program. And um, so let's get into it, you know. Let's talk about, we know you're doing some great work. Um, you, up since your appointment, you've been innovating and moving in leaps and bounds. But before we actually go into what you have in store for Legotians, let, let's talk about you. You as a person, give us a little bit of your profile, your background, so our, our viewers can actually get some um, knowledge about you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Okoyemi Abdukabir Ogumbo. Like you have rightly introduced, um, I attended um, Ogun State University and also proceeded to Ghana Institute of Management and Personal Administration in Ghana, where I had my MBA. Um, after which, uh, all this while, I joined Alpha Beta, one of the leading uh, revenue generating uh, organization in Africa, leading one for that matter. Uh, and I served with them for more than uh, 18 years, going to 20 years. I was a former uh, managing director of Ghana in uh, of Alpha Beta in Ghana, and uh, and also in Sierra Leone, Cameroon at some point. So I came back to also hold uh, the managing director of the fintech arm of that organization, which is called uh, TechPay Limited, a position I held till my latest appointment as a special advisor to the governor of Lagos State on taxation and revenue. So here you are meeting and talking to the special breed in terms of revenue management, someone who has been very uh, critical to the development of Lagos uh, for more, almost two decades. Uh, I was part of the team that grew revenue from uh, about 600 to 800 million per month to over 40 to 50 billion before we assumed office uh, last year, uh, September to be precise. So now we have also um, added our own quota to, to assist Mr. Governor in uh, increasing the revenue of uh, legal states to what we have today. And we're doing quite well. And we have close to um, 100% to what we have generated in the year 2023. And when you compare the half year reports uh, yes. to, to what we have now, we've been able to do well in our projection. That's amazing. Yeah. And I'm Thank sure you. you are going to get into what you have achieved. But um, yeah. I want to really um, appreciate you for sharing a bit about your personality, which is important. And um, so people can know that you come with a lot of pedigree, a lot of experience, and um, you have been someone who has been um, in a driving seat in revenue generation, not just for Nigeria, but also for Africa. Uh, by Nigeria, I mean by Lagos State, and for, for Africa and um, going to various nations, yeah. and that is really commendable. So as always, uh, Mr. Governor, with his visionary leadership, has been able to appoint someone who is um, very, very um, befitting our position mm -hmm. in a round hole. I really, really, I, I celebrate you for that. Now, let's moving on to some of your achievements over the past few months. You were going to stay and um, still talk about how you have already been able to generate as much revenue, if not more, than what you generated last year. Can you just um, expand on that a bit? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jamin. What um, we can say is, um, like um, announced at the just launched uh, Lagos Revenue Portal, Lagos have been in a very positive trajectory when it comes to revenue generation. There's a base, there's a system, there's a continuity. So this system has been right from the manual systems of revenue generation to the point where we are now going to 
industry specific technology driven ideas. And um, since the first time of the administration of Mr. Babajide Olushola Sowolo, he's been at the forefront in maintaining what um, the foundation laid by the, the former governor, who is now the president of the country, that uh, President Ebola Hamed Chinubu. And thank God that uh, Mr. Governor has taken it from where he met it, you know, above board. One of the critical introduction was um, when we introduced, Mr. Governor introduced what we call e-tax. E-tax allows um, tax-related uh, revenue, which is being used by Lagos Internal Revenue Service, to manage okay. end-to-end revenue um, as, um, management from billing, identification, to reporting and all that. So once we come here, Mr. Governor, being Mr. Revenue, has led the conversation, has been at the forefront in leading the system. So what is our contribution? We have been very um, intentional about ensuring that we have a system. We have a system that um, effectively manages this process of be it enumeration. So we have tried to simplify registration of uh, payers into our yes. system, you know, beyond where we met it. So initially, payers need to get to uh, maybe tax stations or banks to register. But we try to introduce an online system which allows uh, payers to just provide their NIN with a unique ID for the country to have their own payer ID. We have also... Okay, say, yeah. I'm just, you know, you, you were going to say something earlier on about how you are able to have even surpass the revenue generated from last year. I don't know um, if you, you wanted to continue that, but I know that you have segued into another topic which relates to the e-portal. And I, I don't know how people can access that e-portal and if you can continue and uh, enlighten us about the revenue generation so far to date this year. Yes, sir. So we have a target, which is a public document of mm. um, about uh, 1.8 trillion as a revenue, which includes internally generated revenue and that of federal transfers. So the internally generated bit of our revenue target uh, uh, is actually 1.25 uh, trillion uh, uh, naira. So what, we, what I can tell you is that when you compare what we have done this year to what we did the uh, year before we started in three, we are far above um, the, our projection. So, which means we are going in line with what was uh, budgeted. Owing to very impressive, very impressive and commendable. That, uh, the governor has put in place through uh, various initiatives and offices. That's yeah. amazing. So, how can they access this e portal you were talking about before, whereby it's now a seamless process, digitized, automated, um, negotiations can register um, there? So, yes, so it's very simple. When this is not to take over or to re remove the usage of e-tax, which we can get on e-tax.lrs.net, you know, but this is also a new innovation as usual that Mr. Governor has introduced, and which is called Lagos Revenue Portal. And this can be accessed through CTPS, showing as a secured site, four slash, two four slash, revenue.lagosstate.gov.ng you know and if you have because it's built with the um, artificial intelligence element in it there's also if you have clarifications and queries and code to be made so you can also send mail to lrp at state.gov.ng so these are opportunities channels that you can interact with states going forward Fantastic essay. So there are two. There's the LRS portal that is like for taxation. Then there's yes. now the revenue portal, which is doing for revenue.lagosstate.gov.ng. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. And for yes. some people who may not really understand, um, yes. taxation is a form of revenue. You understand? Yes. So yes. It's, it's separate. So can you just explain to them the, the various revenue streams that Lagos has now and what it plans for the future? Yes, thank you. Yes, for tax revenue, there's, a, there's an act that um, um, is called Taxes 
and levies approved for collection list. So this gives the every tiers of government the revenue they are meant to collect. So I'll mm. start from federal. Federal government is empowered, that's FRS, through FRS, empowered to collect withholding taxes, stamp duty on, you know, corporate uh, transactions and the likes. So you have VAT and the likes. So when you come to legal states as a subnational, they are, by that act, uh, entitled to collect withholding tax, pay as you hand, stamp duty for individuals and the likes. So in Lagos, we have non-tax revenue. Non-tax revenue represents revenue that are not tax-based. For instance, you want to build a property. Your property, you pay for permits. Physical permit is paid to physical permit. You have building control for those that will come and visit your property when you are building it to ensure that you do not endanger the lives of other people around you. There's a lab car, which is Lagos State uh, Building Control Agency. So there is land use charge, which you pay on the usage of your property. And there is La Sepa, which when you are, you know, environmental related transaction, so you do that with La Sepa. You have Loma, which you pay to those that evacuate your, you know, refuse and other waste. So there are so many other ways that they are non-tax and they will have tax. So for you, for the LRP that we just launched, is a platform which gives you, once you have a unique identification, so it gives you opportunity to view all your bills, irrespective of where you're paying to in legal state. Because legal That's state amazing. on the same unique database. On the same unique across, profile. Yes. So you can assess all your payments, even to LRS, you can view all your payments to land use charge. Wow. And ultimately, when a bill is being generated for you, before you get it, you can go online to see your bill. So many people claim that I have not received my land use charge for a while. So this opportunity at this portal, give go on and go and pick your, you know, so just pick your uh, um, uh, bills immediately bill for each, and, uh, um, for each of these that you have uh, areas to the and, and, and that is uh, you know there. that is yes it's safe. well this is this is really amazing and it's groundbreaking i'm not sure if other states or even um, nigeria as a whole has set up this kind of system this is yeah. truly a, can i say the first of its kind in nigeria Yes, you, you, we can say that, yes. Because we have already wow. been oh. leading in terms <laughs> yes, of technology. Mr. Revenue, once again, yes. Mr. Governor of is only for something, yes. something so innovative and also having the initiative and the foresight to appoint someone like you who is also um, driving that process in the grassroots. So we celebrate that. So Lagosians, diasporans, you have heard it, that you can, there's a seamless way to pay all your bills in Lagos. So that's revenue dot. LagosState.gov.ng. I am yes. sure that there may be an app that may be coming soon. Um, it's already, already so that you can it's already available. To, um, yeah. A seamless um, process, as yes, I said. I know I must have mentioned um, something. I said the diaspora too. So, yes. FA, the diaspora, we just um, um, heard from the central bank governor, uh, Mr. Alenemi Cardoso, saying that um, Nigerian diaspora has remitted over 535 million dollars um into um nigeria to inflows just for the month of um july and this represents a 130 percent um year to year like increase compared to last year and the, the diaspora but as well seems to be a source of um um remittance source of funding sort of um resources to to the nation in pre previous years they have contributed an average of 20 billion dollars on an on, on a year-to-year -year basis so i'm looking at it that how can lagos state government be able to tap into the diaspora nigerian diaspora and african diaspora um around the world how can they benefit from it and what can we how can we add value to them to ensure that some of these things we are doing we consider them so you can help them maybe pay their land um, taxes or their um, tax or their taxes if they have businesses here or their bills for their families. Are you thinking about the diaspora? Yes, very well, uh, Mr. Jamil. As usual, I know you will go to diaspora <laughs> because you always represent them, and uh, that's a very, uh, very 
a nice one to ask. It's a very intelligent question. I must Thank say, you. right from uh, the conception stage, we are conceptualizing this idea. So what we have put there allows, in fact, we can say one of the reasons why we are putting this system in place, 70% uh, of the idea is because of the diaspora. Why? Mm. Because um, so many of them have property back in. Some of them pay bills for their, for their people here, back here, and co. And I must tell you that the systems are integrated with the forex in mind. It means that when wow. you, you talk to some of the maybe recognized uh, payment gateway, like Flutterwave, like pay for it, and they have so many other gateways that accommodate um, forex um, driven payments. So it allows them to be able to pay. So what we are saying is that they cannot pay for their land use charge, they cannot pay mm. for their bills at the comfort of their home, just to ensure that they have a unique presence on the platform of Lagos State. That's exactly what Mr. Governor is thinking about, and that's what we have deployed. So all these payment gates here and the banks accommodate this um, forex in order to, to, to make it seamless for their payments and transactions with Lagos State. That's absolutely amazing. And um, you've heard it once again, um, Diaspora, the Special Advisor, <laughs> Mr. Premier Gubo, and uh, Mr. Governor Bawajide Sawolu, Mr. Revenue, they are thinking about you. You know, ease of transacting business in Lagos is the top of our priority. And I'm so glad heading the Lagos State Office of Diaspora Affairs that the more diaspora inclusive policies and programs, such as this um, revenue portal that is being set up, is coming to play. So remember, if you want to pay all your bills, revenue.lagosstate.gov.ng. Revenue.lagosstate.gov.ng. It is what you will have in the UK, America. We are bringing international best practices to you. And this is not just um, the, 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 the limit of the innovation and um, brightness of mind that um, our special advisor has. They also has come up with something very innovative. And I would like you to share it. There's a conference coming up. And it has a team around um, Revenue Plus. And um, I would like um, SA to, to talk about it. You know, the, the yeah, coming just, summit. Yes, just, just one minute before the summit. I would like to, mm. to also let the aspirant know that on this platform, you can reprint all your lost receipts. The receipt that you have paid for in legal state, you can reprint and re-download it from the LRP portal. You wow. can make amendments. It's historical too. Yes, mm. you can make an amendment of your payment. Let's say you intend to pay to agency A, but you mistakenly pay to agency B. But Mr. Governor also asked that this must be made available to us. So there are so many advantages of the system that you, as time comes by, you can, we can always share that. And then thank you for the question around summit. So in order to engage stakeholders, in order to have collaborative efforts with various stakeholders in the industry. So hence the introduction of uh, a, a co-revenue plus summit, which is coming up on the 25th and 26th of September, 2024. And the main reason for bringing this with a team of unlocking new revenue stream for Lagos State. Unlocking new revenue, new revenue stream, stream for, Lagos, for State. Lagos State. Wow. So it's for people of Lagos and government of Lagos. So people mm. of Lagos with innovative ideas, mm. with concerns, with questions. So a lot of people are accuse government of not carrying them along in coming with policy. So it's going to come up with a deal book where number of investors and co with different ideas who come on board to come and tell us what we are not doing properly. And we have Sorry. always narrowed it down to areas where we can now begin to probe it. Because when you look at our GDP versus our revenue, you will see that we're still doing below the threshold set by maybe one bank. So what that means is that there's still room for revenue to grow in order to meet our developmental agenda and the promises that the government has made to the people of Lagos. So in order to do that, we have brought a five uh, pillars that we want to center the discussion around. We are talking about digital economy. We are talking about informal sector. 
we're talking about property sector, we're talking about uh, secular economy, and of course, all of this will be energized by energy. So these are areas that we want people to come and talk about so that we can get both direct revenue and indirect revenue for the state. Because by the time we create a enabling environment, so we'll get more money for the people and the uh, negotiations. That's amazing. You couldn't have said it any better. You know, because yeah. you're empowering the people. Because once yes. the people begin to generate more revenue, they'll be able to contribute more revenue and the state get more revenue to, um, for in its coffers. So it's like a mutually benefiting relationship. And I like the fact that it's consultative. You are bringing the people along who these policies and program and portal is designed for. So that's amazing work um, being done. I must commend you once again. So where is it going to be taking place and when, sir? Uh, yes, he's at a uh, co hotel, you know, a co a co hotel and suites on the 25th and 26th um, uh, of September 2024. You can actually access that also uh, through a co revenue plus summit dot com. Uh, it's also live as we speak and uh, with a countdown, and you can actually register that. That's a co revenue plus. Summit.com. Summit. Yeah. Cool. 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 Summit. Cool. Summit. Com. Com. Yeah. So we can Guys, actually get go there and, and get more information about it. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's going to be a very, very insightful program in a co hotel. On what date, sir? 25th and 26th. 20, 25th uh, and 26th. September. Of, yes. uh, of, 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 of. So. It September, is just um, very, very soon. Make sure. Can people also access it online, virtually, like those in the diaspora and those who may yes. not be able to access it physically? E yes, yes, yes. This is just our register. Live. Wow. Yes. Also wow. on that platform, Eco Revenue yes, Plus Summit.com. Summit. It will be live. Yes, please. Government must be continually innovative in growing revenue in order to keep improving the lives and livelihood of the rising populace of Lagosians. Modo Ante, in collaboration with Lagos State, through the Special Advisor on Taxation and Revenue and headline sponsor, Wimmer Bank, present the Echo Revenue Plus Summit, September 25th and 26th, 2024. Theme, Unlocking New Revenue Streams for Lagos State. Chief Host, Mr. Babajide Sawolu, the Governor of Lagos State. It's a convergence of key stakeholders in public and private sectors to explore innovations for fresh revenues in property, digital economy, informal sector, energy sector, and secular economy through win-win public-private partnerships. Let's power progress for Lagosians at the Echo Revenue Plus Summit. Wow. You see, this is innovation. This is inclusion by the special advisor on taxation and revenue to Mr. Governor Sokemi Ogumbo. This is so amazing from his background in the private sector, changing um, the uh, revenue and taxation system in Lagos State and, and going to different parts of Africa. Coming back to Lagos State as a political appointee, he's doing a lot of great things, moving in leaps and bounds with the eco um um, summit um, Revenue Plus Summit coming up. Make sure you visit Eco Revenue Plus Summit dot com, yes, Eco Revenue Plus Summit dot com, and don't mm. forget, you know, all your revenue needs. Just go to revenue dot Lagos State dot gov dot ng to be able to yeah. have seamless payments. Those of you in Lagos and those of you in the diaspora. So, in closing, sir, is there anything you would like to say to Lagosians? Um, I would like to drop this point. You know, I don't know how many people are being taxed in Lagos, and if you would like to encourage business owners and also individuals to register and let them know that once Lagos um, gets more, we can do more for the people. You're closing your match, yeah. sir. Yes, thank you very much. I, I just want to say that. All of these initiatives by Mr. Governor, they are not in any way to, to tax poverty. Mm. When we provide enabling environment, when we uh, are deliberate about pro protecting your investment, spending so much on, on normal, subsidizing what they do, and for our people providing health care for our people, and of course, providing enabling environment for businesses technology to thrive. It costs money. And you can only support the government of Mr. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu by contributing your quota. Your little quota represents 
a certain number that Mr. Governor will use to govern and give us the developmental project. So my last word to you that you are watching is that endeavor to contribute to your quota. Your quota means a lot to us to achieve the Lagos of our dreams. So we we'll request that once you get this information, if you have any clarification, you can also assess my office directly with a number that we're going to share to, to ensure that through all these channels that were provided, we can do it together as Lagosian as those people that they have appointed to the office. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your time, special advisor. And we know you are very, very busy at this moment. And for you to take time to talk to Lagosians and the diaspora, we are really grateful. And, you know, he has said it all, audience. And we've had a great discussion with the special advisor to Mr. Governor on taxation and revenue. He's saying that um, we should contribute our quota to the development of Lagos State. There's a popular Yoruba saying that says, the guy, the lifting of Lagos is a collective effort. Every one of us has to play our part. You know, in, in foreign lands, they said, don't ask what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And the simple request is that Keep on paying your taxes. Keep on supporting the government to deliver more um, things to you, as he mentioned, when it comes to healthcare services, subsidizing things like Loma and various things. Even the pilotings we are given, we're an empathic government. Governor Babaji Sonolu is thinking of the people. And once Lagos has more revenue, you can be sure that the people of Lagos are feeling the benefits too. So thank you once again for watching. And remember some websites that you must visit to pay all your bills. Go to revenue.lagosstate.gov.ng to find out more about the Eco Revenue Plus Summit. Visit ecorevenueplussummit.com. Inquiries will be met there. There's a team ready to take care of your peculiar needs, businesses, individuals, those of you in the diaspora. Ease of doing business is at the heart of what we are doing um, to ensure that there's a seamless process when it comes to you paying your bills like you have in other clients. Thank you so much for watching. And we've been talking, I will say once again, to the special advisor on taxation and revenue, Mr. Kwame Ogoro. You know, he's a very, very insightful man and we thank him once again for joining us on this Let's Talk um, program. Don't forget to visit my website, jermainsonwulu.com and follow me on all my social media handles at Jermaine Sonwulu and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more engaging content. So let's talk once again um, and another day. Until then, um, stay inspired, stay informed and keep believing and living your dreams. Thanks for watching. Let's talk with Jermaine Sonwulu. Follow on all social media handles at Jermaine Sonwulu. Visit JermaineSonwulu.com.